Good afternoon, everyone. September 4th, 5 p.m., give or take. First meeting of September for the Miami Township Board of Trustees. Before we start, I'd like to make a very short announcement that uh, as of roughly 3 o'clock this afternoon, the Board of Trustees uh, have potentially, what's the other word for not for potentially, but um, tentatively, tentatively, tentatively uh, entered, entered into an agreement with seven different subcontractors for the construction of a new firehouse at 101, uh, 1001 Zine Avenue. So that process is beginning as we speak, and we hope to have a uh, groundbreaking ceremony on the 18th of this month at the site, 11, uh, 11 p.m., or excuse me, 11 a.m., 11 p.m., that's it. We can pause. Uh, 11 a.m., I hope everybody can join us. And uh, construction to begin as soon as possible afterwards. So, and by this time next year, we should be in a brand new warehouse. So, looking forward to that. It's been a long journey. A long journey. So, we'll call the meeting to order through trustees, fire chief, road administrator, inspector general, fiscal officer, um, members of the um, the video audience. Yes, of the video audience, right. Mm -hmm. Welcome. I entertain a motion to adopt the minutes of August 19th, 2019. Is there a motion? I would make that motion with two changes. Well, how do we do this? We'll, we'll move it second and then we'll discuss and make Okay. Okay, I'll second it. Okay. Now, are there any are there any discussions about adopting the minutes? Uh, one is very minor. It's a clean, it refers to letter from trustees supporting clean Ohio grant rather than an Ohio clean grant. Oh dear. Thank you. <clears throat> but in our discussion of uh, the new firehouse report, uh, the last sentence, or second to last sentence, I think it should read, we were talking about the CIC, and it should read, the last option would allow discretion in uses the property would be sold for. Okay, you write that down, that'd be great. Okay, <laughs> so I will write it on this draft. Yeah, that's good. Any further comments about the minutes? Hearing none, maybe vote, please. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. I now accept a motion to approve payment of bills in the amount of $43,881.45. We'll break that down. General fund, $4,595.34. Fire fund, $19,740.66. Cemetery fund, $4,554.50. CMS billing, $10,084.30. Road, excuse me, road and bridge, $4,906.55. Zero in capital, 4901. Is there a motion? <clears throat> yes. I'll second. A motion and a second. Any further discussion regarding payments of these accounts? Uh, hearing none, may we vote, please? Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Correspondence for the period, quite light. No complaints there. Um, a memo from David Graham uh, regarding the 2020 tax budgets. Um, these are the official amounts uh, authorized by the county for our budget for 2020. And there's no tax budget hearings this year. Yes, there are not. No. Oh, yes, darn, it says right there. Um, <laughs> there's a, uh, uh, an email from MVRPC re uh, regarding public, particip public participation in the open house meetings regarding the final draft of the 2019 Greater Miami Valley Regional Transportation Coordination Plan and the draft program of the projects funded with the FTA Section 5310. That sounds like a run out of sentence to me. Uh, there's another message from uh, Miami Valley Regional Planning regarding an upcoming sustainability roundtable for the uh, EV ready policies and EV for public fleets. We have a crash some grassroots clipping report from the uh, Township Association. 
we have a copy of the Bath Township newsletter, summer 2019, from the Bath Township Board of Trustees. And there they all are. Look, all, there is all pressed up. Good. That's why we don't do a newsletter. <laughs> That's probably why. Oh. <laughs> Uh, we have, a, we have a, a couple of save the dates for the uh, 33rd annual Mandela Planning and Zoning Workshop, Friday, December 16, 2019. No, 16th. Oh, I'm sorry, 6th, you are correct. And say the date again. The 6th. 6th December. And we have a, a copy of the um, uh, set August meeting of the Board of, Board of Health. Mm -hmm. This is a copy of the agenda for the September meeting for Health right. to be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, we have one more additional thing, one more additional uh, correspondence which we will take up under Firehouse Report. Anything else in or out, gentlemen? Ladies? Hearing none, we'll move along to the Mentioned firehouse report. Gee. Oh, fire department, firehouse report. Fire department. Fire department report. All right, well, here we go. Um, first of all, we just wanted we, the fire department, want to extend our heartfelt thanks to the board for your perseverance and support of the fire station project over the past decade. I've lost track decade, I think, <laughs> pretty much. And we're trying to pin it down today. But, um, but we, we definitely appreciate it and we look forward to a, a gleaming new building that will smell nice. Well, it's a, <laughs> it's a very worthwhile endeavor and hopefully it will be all worth it. Yes. Uh, in the end. So um, since we're looking forward to asking you to come and visit. Yes. Uh, when, when it becomes open. Okay. Good. I appreciate that. Um, since the last meeting, uh, we've had 47 EMS incidents. 32 fire incidents, and have completed four fire safety inspections. Um, oh, moly, who are the pyromaniacs out there? There are a lot of pyromaniacs. Well, it's, you know, it's been nice. Uh, it's been uh, open burning season. Yeah. And then, you know, you can't really burn around here without someone calling them in the morning because they're concerned. So, uh, But we do, uh, you know, we do remind citizens that there are regulations in place for open burning, and one of them is not to burn tires, couches, and other household items. <laughs> so, uh, anyone should contact us for a permit for It's also amazing to me that people have build fires underneath trees all the time. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Quite amazing. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The uh, fire engine crash that we suffered, what, two, three months ago, uh, all the repairs have been made. Uh, between Humans and Detroit Tire. So the total cost was 46 44 35 and our amazingly fantastic new insurance company um, had no questions at all, and they're issuing a check for 41 44 which is basically the cost minus 7 so. Um, exactly cost minus exactly, exactly, yeah. So uh, that worked out very well. Um, the 9-11 Memorial Stair Climb is this Saturday, so wow. all are welcome to come and watch, or even climb. Uh, that'll be a good time for all. Has Richard approved the use of the building? Uh, I'm not sure if it went through him, but uh, whatever Jackie did seems to have worked, so. Jackie's cool. Things have been cleaned out of our way, so that we could uh, actually hold the stair climb. But <laughs> great, great. We appreciate the college's uh, are you doing it in the dorm like you've done in the past? No, it's, it's in Antioch Hall. Oh. Main building. The main building. Main building. Mm -hmm. um, so the only difference this year is that there is a uh, crew actively installing new plumbing for new heating. So they just have to get their operation out of the way. Mm -hmm. the yeah, it was a shocker to walk around. Like, oh, this is great. <laughs> Oops. I wish Jack and the facilities director said, oh yeah, they're not supposed to be here, so I thought this was over. That's why I guess. There's no one talk at this place, but. Uh, what I think is my experience, anyway. so some things ever change. Yeah. Um, and that's. That's it for us. Casey Brewer will be starting fire class, but it's a grant funded class, so it's not going to cost anything. At uh, Drew Park State, it's still a great time.
Did you get the convoluted message, or at least convoluted through the website uh, emails, about the new fire marshal regulations? <coughs> yes. Agribusinesses. Yeah, and that's on the list for next week. So. Okay. Anything else for the chief? Oh, do I need to do a run through on the okay. Oh, well, if you want me to do anything, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> I'll get with you. <laughs> yeah, probably a good idea. Otherwise, I'll just sit there. <laughs> Push things back. Actually, that's pretty much what you're supposed to do now. <laughs> okay. So let's not get carried away. But there are, there are a couple of safety work. things. Even if you've gotten bubbled in right, that you can do yeah. wrong. Trust me. If anyone can find the thing to do wrong, it might be me. So. <clears throat> Back to you, Mr. Major. <laughs> okay, we'll move to the new firehouse report uh, as a result of this afternoon's bid opening. We have uh, a few things to go over. We have a few resolutions to adopt and a couple of things just to discuss. Let's see if these resolutions are here. So the first one is a fiscal officer one. So the next one is. 31 is um, the one you look for. Yeah. 31 and 32 and 34. Resolution 2019-31 reads, uh, whereas Miami Township has obtained a bond anticipation note in the amount of $350,000 from West Banco Bank, Inc., Yellow Springs, Ohio, and whereas West Banco Bank has requested the names and positions of persons authorized by Miami Township to sign financial documents on behalf, <coughs> on behalf of Miami Township. Therefore, be resolved that the following personnel are the only authorized signatories for this financial agreement. Uh, that would be myself and Margaret, and that's it. Is there a motion? I so move. Is there a second? I'll second. Is there any further discussion regarding this resolution? <coughs> Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. We then have resolution number 2019-32, reads, whereas my intention is obtained a bond at anticipation note, the amount of $350,000 from West Banco, Inc., Yellow Springs, Ohio, and whereas, my, whereas, bank, whereas West Banco Bank has requested written assurance from Miami Township that upon the sale of the firehouse property loaded at two, located at 225 Corey Street, Yellow Springs, Ohio, the full amount of the bond anticipation NOE, I guess we better change nope. that type change that typo, will be retired in full. Therefore, be it resolved, following trustees have pledged in a public meeting to honor the intent of this resolution. Is there a motion? I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I second. Is there further discussion regarding uh, resolution 2019-32? Let's clarify that we've changed N-O-E to N-O-T-E. Yeah. Oh, right here. N-O-T-E. May we have a vote, please? Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. I'll make that uh, change right after the meeting because I need to deliver this tomorrow. Okay. Uh, we then have resolution 2019-34. It's a resolution accepting bid recommendation for the lowest and most responsible bidders for Miami Township. Fire Rescue Station 81, located at 101, 1001Z Avenue, Yellow Springs, Ohio. It reads, whereas the Board of Trustees of Mountain Township, Green County, Ohio, have, has the authority to enter into contracts for any lawful township purpose, and whereas Miami Township has bid documents prepared and advertised for bids per ORC Section 153 and all other relevant requirements of the ORC and USDA guideline, and whereas Miami Township has received bids for the Miami Township Fire Rescue Station number 81 as described in the plans and specifications uh, dated July 31, 2019. Now therefore be resolved by the Board of Trustees of Miami Township Green County. The board accepts the architect's recommendations for awarding the project to the lowest, most responsible bids as described in the architect's letter attached and requests USDA RD's concurrence to issue a quote notice of award unquote accordingly as fourth day of September 2019 and signed saying, is there a uh, motion to accept? I will make that motion. I'll second. Is there a motion and a second? Is there any further discussion regarding adoption resolution 2019-34? Only 
for historic credibility, huh? the spelling of That's true. Res resolution accepting. But I didn't write this. <laughs> oh, I did. So change the spelling. Correct the spelling. Be Christina Kane, WBC. And for the record, she was under duress. She was not under duress. <laughs> she she had to produce a document in X number of minutes. Hours. And she did an excellent job at it too. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. May we change that resolution number to 33? Because I have 34 coming up. Uh, no, you just did 34. I know. And then there's Maybe 30. You no, can you make this a 35? Okay, whatever. Yeah, sure. I mean, I've got, I've got um, I've the one that for the accepting amounts of rates at 33. Oh. Okay, can we make this one 35? So yeah. I've got to re, I've got to rewrite it anyway. Which one? The one you just the one did or just the one you're did. about to do? The one we just did. Sure. Okay, thank you. Okay. I now have resolution 2019-34. A new resolution. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm getting confused. <laughs> there more than three resolutions yeah, that we need to add to Wait, hold on. Okay, 31, 32, Stand and 34. Stand by. That's the word. Yes, we had a draft and we had a final copy of the same thing. So. Oh yeah, that's that's what it looks like. So so now what do we do go back to and so we yeah. just do, so we don't need to switch. Any more discussion no. in the report or are we just passing resolutions? Well at the moment we're just passing resolutions. So we can <laughs> go back to so thirty four can stay thirty four. We don't have to change the number because okay. we have duplication there. Right? Right. And which one do you have for thirty three years? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now, I, I, have, I, had that. I have another thirty three and it's gotta be something now. Hey, let me make that one 35. Can you do that? Does it matter? It doesn't. It doesn't matter, but then I. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> Just do what you need to do. Make your 34. Yeah, I'll make my 35. Is that a This is the USDA. Oh, I see. Okay. I now have resolution number 2019 33. It reads Whereas Miami Township has obtained a bond in the amount of. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to change this. Damn it. Excuse me. Five million seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. I have a copy of this one. This this is okay. And whereas USD has requested the names and positions of persons authorized by Miami Township to sign financial documents on behalf of Miami Township, therefore be resolved that the following personnel are the only authorized signatories for this financial agreement. So to myself and Margaret, is there a motion? I shall move. I'll second that. As long as I don't have to sign. Uh, any further discussion regarding this re resolution? If not, may we vote, please. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Thank you all. I think that's all for these resolutions for that portion. Um, okay. So that's 31, 32, 34. We did a little out of order, but we're fine. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else under the generic new firehouse report this evening? Um, I'd like some clarification on uh, going forward. Mm -hmm. uh, who are we calling the architect, and what is the uh, managing group's title? MSA is the architect of record. WDC is a uh, subcontractor of MSA who are operating as the construction manager agent of the project. Okay. That, that answers it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? New firehouse report? One additional. Um, as a result of this afternoon's uh, bid acceptance, we then pretty much have started the clock to tick on the disposition of this facility. Uh, it should be available for a new occupant on or about today, next year. 
And so we got to get cranked up with uh, with selling this um, either provisionally or immediately or some way, shape, or form. And one of the first things we need to do as uh, being advised by people who know these things is we need to have a environmental site assessment done of this property. Uh, it make it much better for us to sell this and not have some heavy things hanging over our heads potentially down the road. Kind of like, uh, oh, wait. Kind of like uh, old taxes on old uh, right state properties. That, <laughs> so anyway, I've contacted Bowser Moore, who will be doing also work for us on the new firehouse, doing its inspections and testing and uh, the like, which also has to be uh, updated here directly because it's time to get to work. And um, but anyway, for twenty-three hundred dollars, they will uh, prepare a report for our use in the sale of the building. So, certainly. Bowser who? Bowser Mourner, M O W R M O R N E R. And we already have a contract on the. Or how is it that they're working on the new? It's just they're a local firm that specializes in the work that we need to have done, including this one. They're doing all the site inspections, or specialized inspections for the new facility. So they did all the site survey stuff. They'll inspect the geo pier. Geo pier. Yeah, the geological so, stuff. So they, they did. They do the below ground. Test. They did the earlier cores mm -hmm. and yep. all that. Okay. Gives the engineering options that we chose. So we need a motion on this. Yes, sir. I'll make that motion. We sort of alternate, you know. We have a motion. I, I second <laughs> it. Second. The contract is in, right? Yes. Uh, is there any further discussion regarding that motion? Hearing none, maybe we'll please. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Having no further new information, that I know of for the new firehouse as we speak. We have a visitor uh, who will be offered the opportunity to uh, take the floor if, if you like. I didn't come with an agenda for the meeting. All right, well, thanks for stopping the by and, and sharing a few minutes with us. Uh, now we'll go <laughs> there, there is an ulterior motive. He wants a zoning permit. I told him, uh, you've got to put in some time at the meeting no. if you want to get a permit yeah. in the evening. <laughs> those, those damn zoning inspectors, they'll run your lunch. Tell me about it. And speaking of which, hopefully we're kicking along with the Village of Yellow Springs on getting our zoning uh, continued, our zoning permit oh. continued. Oh, it's been house. more than a year it's since we took out two years. <laughs> I don't think anything has changed. No, so that should not be a problem. Do they so. routinely expire at some point at yeah. the villages? Well, I don't know what, whether the village, I, on mine, they expire in one year. Because this is otherwise, two years, but you have, to, you have to request the second year. You have to request in writing. So that you remember the village that 12 month has expired, which of course we forgot to do. <laughs> um, oh, well, is right. Let's move to the Cemetery Road Report. Thank you. Sexton, Okinawa. Okay. Present. Well, we've had a couple burials since our last meeting. Books in the natural. Mm -hmm. so one good. today. And one today. So, yeah, it's really nice. Is our equipment working all right? It's fine. Good. We have an excellent operator. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll learn something from it. I've mm -hmm. heard good things about the, the concept of uh, natural burial. It's popular. Yeah. And the Johnson family spoke appreciatively of your service. Thank you. We're going to buy you a black robe <laughs> since you're so Not good that at kind of it. service. Oh. <laughs> and, a, and a side. Yeah, a side. <laughs> a, hooded, a hooded robe and a side. Comedy show. We have another burial in Clifton tomorrow at 11 o'clock. It's a great side. Instead of service, I'll say your attention and information. <laughs> Thank you. And the chip seal's not been done yet, but I look forward to the two. 
pretty much all they had. Were they fogging anything from last year? Did they? Were yeah, they they're fogging uh, Kyle, Carol Lamont, and the swimming pool was added because they didn't get to us, remember? Yeah. So they added swimming pool at the same cost, mm -hmm. I mean, same price. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. For materials. So yeah. they should be on that pretty soon. Mm -hmm. They, you know, I'll go with the cemetery. Anything else? It's part of that for Roger. That's yeah, the four Ds. Okay. Do I need to talk to him about anything? Mm -hmm. Our guys will be in here in the sometime for some months. Mm -hmm. We'll have to go around and we can do that when we get back. Mm -hmm. You're on vacation. Yes, sir. It, I mean, like with the Johnson family, it happened rather quickly. They hadn't made any arrangements in advance and all that. What would, how would that be handled? We would ask a, a member of the Bath Township. Or well, you would see, I've got, or we've got members that will come and help. But as far as meeting with selling a grave, you, you might have to well, do that. And I'm going to put my voicemail to your number like I did when I was going last mm -hmm. year. If you need to call me, but yeah. otherwise, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're going to Rude. Chip seals are done on our road to chip seal. I thought they're done. They look really nice. Mm -hmm. and not an excess of material. Who put it down this year? Hensley's. Did they? And I thought they did a real nice job. Mm -hmm. Great. Turned out good. I got an Enoch from, uh, Enoch. I got an estimate from Enoch on their stumps. Mm -hmm. And he said he would take all the stumps out, dress the ditch up. I wouldn't have to go do anything for 15 mm -hmm. Down north of the road. I had to talk to Joe. Is that clipping? The, the three stumps inside this the limits. Right. So only three? Yeah. Oh, that's three or four. There, there's yeah. not many. The majority are outside of them. But I have not talked to Joe. Okay. Give him a ring. I will try to get hold of him. I know I have the most. You anticipate. Okay. He'll be happy, won't he? I would think, but we estimated substantially less than that. Yeah. I know. About I know. About. About 500 less. Than yeah. Than that. But he said, you know, he shot it in. He said, I'll dress it up and make it look nice. But I won't have to redo it. Mm -hmm. But I'll, you know, I'll just talk to Jeff. So just give me his number. I'll call him. Uh, I'm going to try to finish my trimming. I'll have my trimming done before I leave. I'll mm -hmm. probably work Saturday. I'll take out the burial today and tomorrow. I'll probably work Saturday and leave it the next Thursday. Mm -hmm. Maybe you walk in or something. Not heavily traveling. Friday I'll be out and Saturday. And then Monday and Tuesday I should rest. Mm -hmm. Right in the barrels. Yeah. You know anything about Coburn on Smith? At the summer yes. farm? On the, oh, the on the north side of the bridge? North no. There's a twelve inch double wall in there. Where? I don't know who put it in. It's between Harry Is it the, the Settlers driveway? On the other side, on the north side of the bridge, the creek, the creek. Oh. It's new. It's new. It's 12 inch double wall, but I didn't, I don't remember talking to you about what needed to go in there. No, I didn't, nobody came to me to do any, any driveways on the step. What should we do? Well, I probably ought to go look at it and talk to it and find out who put it in and just. Did they sell it for I don't. I thought they sold some of them. Well, there's a between Blevins and the creek. People who always find it. Okay. 12-inch culvert. I don't remember you talking to me right No. 12 inches is fine, but. Yeah, but yeah, no, we're saying, no, they did go through the procedure. Mm -hmm. Follow up on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, really. Um, it's hard to believe this is the 4th of September, but it kind of means that things are winding down summer-wise. You know, let's be somewhat proactive if you need new tires for the winter. We're going to. If you need to have some hydraulics checked in either one or, you know, whatever. I'll check them out, but we are going to put tires on the one for sure. Mm -hmm. But I'll see what I can. I'll get some prices. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try Richard. Is it Richard's? 
It used to be, they used to own Detroit, but they've got a new place. Mm -hmm. I'm try them. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so Detroit's owned by somebody else and mm -hmm. they're opening a they've new place? They've moved on down the street mm -hmm. and I was told to talk to them for a better deal. Mm -hmm. I think it's Richard was their name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, tell us the story about your back window. Oh, it's the book of the road. <laughs> but we don't know how it broke. Back window of what? Yeah, 165, the old, the old dump truck. Uh, the old wow. dump truck. Yeah. But there's none of it that protrudes above the dump bed. Something must have went through the window, I don't know. Because it wasn't broke when I got through the pit. And I moved the pit, and when I left, the part of it fell out. Mm -hmm. It was shattered, so I don't, something must have hit. I don't remember hitting a rock or mm. something done it while I was there. Oh, it happened while you were using the truck? Yeah, I pulled it in there and it wasn't broke. And when I went to leave, it was shaved. It was shattered. So something must have flew through the driver's window or something. I don't know how it happened. Yeah. But but can you tell whether it was hit from the inside or the outside? No, it was just a whole little yeah. shattered. I mean, it was still straight up and down, like it wasn't been in or out or anything. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't know. But I, I had it replaced for 235 dollars do we need to turn that in? I was going to say, I'm not sure how our policy reads for comprehensive. Um, if we've got the traditional the deductible. 50 or 100 dollar deductible, um, we can. What's up to you? I mean, I've got a bill, and uh, you don't have to fax them. They uh, have to just uh, fax them to all the bills. Um, so if you Chief, wanted to run it through there or not. Chief Ullman had a very good experience with his <laughs> insurance uh, claim, so. Yeah. Yeah, we just have to find out if there's a comprehensive to it or not. It was a reasonable price, I thought, for a replacement. I thought it would be more than that. That was installing. You know. It would have been a little more if the seal had been new, but they could use the same seal. Mm -hmm. same who, who did the work? Thumper. Thumper's glass. They Thumper. took over for uh, Zenia Glass to do that automobile. Oh, okay. Thumper does theirs now. He's a real nice guy. He gets right on. Takes care of business. Nice call. You talk to him? Mm -hmm. He said, I'll be there. And I thought I'd catch him. He was there and all before I got back there. Yeah, I'll turn that in. It's going to try. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, anything else for the road or the cemetery? Uh, we've got him. We've got him in close proximity. All right. Let's move to the uh, fiscal officer's report. Resolutions. What numbers are they? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, this is amending uh, a permanent appropriation. It's Resolution 2019 30. Whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township, now therefore the trustees authorize an amendment to the following a permanent appropriation. And that was an EMS billing. Increased repairs and maintenance by a thousand dollars. You know what? That's wrong. It was in the fire department. It was in 2191. I need to make a correction on that. I mean, it's it's correct on the line item. The numbers are the correct. number is correct, but not the right. But it wasn't the EMS building. It was the fire. Trustees authorize the fiscal officer to do so immediately, and she hasn't already. Is there a motion to accept resolution 2019-30? I so move. I second. There's a second. Is there any further discussion regarding resolution 2019-30? Hearing none, may we vote please? Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. And then from the county auditor, we have our annual resolution accepting the amounts and rates as determined by the budget commission and authorizing the necessary tax levies and certifying them to the county auditor. That pretty much sums it up. What number is that? Oh, that would be 35. Sorry. Okay. Is there any motion uh, to accept those rates from the county auditor? I so move. I second that. Yeah. So I'll move. Mr. Crockett second. For the discussion regarding that mm. resolution, hearing okay, none, may we vote, please? Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Okay. Yep. Anything else for this? Let's go, sir. I have a question. 
I was confused in looking over the uh, auditor's numbers. He had a, and I don't have it in front of me, but had a very large, uh, seems to me, um, balance going, estimated balance going into 2020. Yay! Any particular fund? Uh, about, I, well, I was looking at general operations was something like eight hundred thousand dollars. In our fund, you mean? Yeah. Do you have it? Do you have it right there? Well, I I don't make those numbers up. Well, except how do we know it at the end of ninety? It's a guesstimate. It's just a guesstimate. It's what, kind of what we have right now, or something like that. Estimated yeah, you're, you're six months in advance or four months in advance. Estimated okay. unencumbered balance. Uh, That's basically where it, where it stands right now. It's not eight hundred thousand. I'm way over. Total of all funds estimated will be six hundred seventy-three thousand. Uh, special revenue funds, assumedly, is going toward our construction, mm -hmm. but. General fund would be two hundred twenty-eight thousand. Mm -hmm. right, do you really like, have that carryover? Well, do you often? have your fund balance sheet in front of you? I don't have it in front of me, but do you have it, is, you know? it is that amount. Yeah, but that's not the end of twenty nineteen. That is true. But that's what they use. That's how they do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we do for now. Yeah. So okay, it's yep. based on our projection from the budget yeah. that we submitted. I mean, yeah, they month. just you know. We can't really estimate, but unless there have been some major unusual occurrence, you just go with what you plan. Well, it's just that's well, it's not to me. It didn't seem necessary that he put that in, and it didn't make sense. It still doesn't. We might not talk to him about it. I, I mean, I, I just feel like that's just the way the farm That's the way that that budget is generated, and it has for years. No budget, I don't change budget that habits. Government bureaucratic budget habits seem to glom onto each other. And pretty so often they ought to be redone. He's generally there seven thirty to four Monday through Friday. Get <laughs> so a little stop education. By, okay. Stop by and chat it up. Yeah. I'm sorry, but that's all you got. Okay. Pass it on. So, any inspectors report? Um. Since I was last with you, I actually issued two zoning permits. Um, one is kind of a formality. Um, Jim and Roberta Semler's basement wall on their house collapsed. Mm -hmm. And consequently, that the house is not safe to live in while the repairs are being done. And so th their insurance company is providing them with temporary housing. No, we don't normally allow temporary housing, but I said, I will, I understand what's going on, but the next six months it's fine to have a temporary house on your property to live in, so you don't have to live in a motel from yes. now till then. And, and so that if anybody asks, why is there a, you know, they're going to say, why is there a trailer on, on the Selmer's property? That's why. Um, the other permit is for, um, the expansion of Clementine Nutrition, that's the business that's operating under the agritourism statute out of the um, Pit Sticks former home on East Eden Road. We're going to build a, a significant addition to that house. Mm. Significant meaning two story and $370,000. Damn, it must be moving in. Uh, that's a, no, it's all business. Oh, Nobody's really? living. This is for, it's for the for the nutrition diet mm -hmm. business, which is called Plan and Time Nutrition. Mm -hmm. And um, just as a reminder, um, the zoning commission's meeting, which is the third Tuesday of the month, the trustees are joining them to discuss um, the PUD statute and how we can modify it to make it do what everybody wants it to do. Uh, so that's coming up. Um, let's see. Is 
or anything else that's... So which date? Tuesday. The third Tuesday. The Tuesday. Tuesday. It's the third Tuesday. It's the week 17th. We've had the first Tuesday, so 17th. And that's at what seven, time do they start? Seven. And they meet in the... We, we may arrange something, but they meet in the Bryant Center uh, in the, what's called the art room, the little room next to A and B. But perhaps we'll move over to A or B if they're available. If um, anybody's... There'll be room for the trustees, but there wouldn't be room for anybody else if all the... The commissioners there. I um, we'll have uh, we'll make that a special public meeting of the board also. Yeah, the, I, I assume the you official. have to announce somehow yeah. that you're going to all three be in the yeah. in the same place, even though you're not mm -hmm. conducting any legislative business. Um, I got a call from. I'm not sure exactly what his role is, but anyway, from someone who is working with Agraria to um, design repairs for the barn in the process of working on it, they found rotten timbers or whatever. And he's working with an engineer, and he called me to ask whether he needed a zoning permit. I said, if you're just doing repairs, no. He said, well, he talked with the building department and they were concerned, so. I said, well, that's fine, I'll call up the building department. Well, whoever came to the building department said that they were, were turning it into a commercial structure. And I said, oh, well, no, I can't issue a permit then. That's not just repairs, that's, that's a change in use. Um, so the person who, the, who hired this guy at Agraria, I got his name, I called him up to find out what was going on, he said, um, I was just fired yesterday, so you, <laughs> you can't talk to me. Um, well, not fired is the wrong term. Let go. It wasn't for, I think they just aren't filling that position anymore. It wasn't that, that there was a problem with his performance, or at least I didn't get that impression. Anyway, so I'm back to chasing around what's actually going on at Agraria. And I, um, I think. Um, I think I will just try to talk to Susan Jennings directly rather than, than somebody else. But that's 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 my ongoing project. Mm -hmm. and, uh, keep you advised. Okay. Great. Anything else? No. Anything else, for Richard? Uh, I I saw correspondence on the table. I think it's in the last two weeks. Uh, someone inquiring. He works at the base. Has bought a lot. In the township, oh. and he oh, okay. wants that's, to that's, build that's, a tiny that's right. house that's on okay. a trailer. And I explained to him that he cannot have a mobile structure. That's mm -hmm. essentially the gist of our code, even though it doesn't spell it out in, in so many words. If he wants to bring it in and set it on a foundation, even if the wheels are still part of it, but it's anchored to the ground then we don't have any requirements on the, the size of the house or the nature of it or whether it has solar panels on top or anything else, but that it also he would have to ascertain from the manufacturer that it met, met building codes of one sort or another. In other words, all of the, the companies that, that manufacture modular housing, for example, have a set of, of code that they have to follow. It's, it's different than using the Green County Building Code. Of course, you can always do that as well. Anyway, I, I just went through all of this with him, and he said yes, and yes, and yes, and yes, and then I have not heard back from him. So I don't know whether he's still pursuing the project or not. in the loop there, but uh, we are not talking commission or committee assignments tonight, so we'll move to uh, any new business or old business before the board. 
Hearing none, I will move for a uh, motion to adjourn. I so move. I will second that. Okay, I will declare by acclamation that we are adjourned. Come in the next room, sir.